Hello. So this is day um, six. No, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, this is day six without Facebook. And I thought I was going to give you uh, an update. Um, I had planned to do daily updates um, to see if that was interesting. But instead, um, I've only just now realised perhaps I should do an update. So, day six without Facebook. Um, what's it like? Um, a bit boring um, in the sense that um, I'm sitting behind the computer now and I was, um, you know, in between jobs on the, in the, compu on the computer. And I tried to think of somewhere I could go to get some impulses. But I've also, um, I installed LeechBlock on my browser. And LeechBlock can prevent you from going to certain websites. So I blocked all the new sites. So there are no, there are no impulses from new sites. There is no Facebook. And um, I feel very tired. Um, I could literally literally fall asleep right now. I'm sitting here behind my... Um, this is my writing desk, is what I call this. It's where I um, have my computer. On the other end of the studio over there is the, um, uh, the drawing and painting area. Uh, I'm sitting here because um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do something. Um, draw something, maybe something um, for my graphic novel, but I'm a bit out of focus. I'm very tired. Yesterday I was very tired as well. And it's it's more like a very intense brain fog. So yesterday I looked up on the internet what the symptoms are of dopamine shortage. And um, I, ran into an, I ran into a website that explained how um, if you are short of dopamine, um, then you get really tired and it takes a few weeks to settle back down, which is exactly my experience from previous Facebook timeouts is that the first two weeks are really heavy and very tiring. And after that, there is um, boundless energy, um, some, a feeling that I hadn't had for um, a long time. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm trying to be confident that um, that moment will really come. Because right now it so doesn't feel like it. I have a slight headache. Um, very heavy eyelids. Um, at least it's how it feels to me. I don't know if, if, if that shows. Um, maybe some leftover makeup here. <laughs> it's not the dopamine. But... Um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of strange, um, and also it's like everything I do, even you know preparing breakfast or trying to organize things. Now, if I try to organize things for my family when there's other people involved shooting impulses at me, I'm okay. But the moment I'm on my own and I try to do something like I wanted to make a video for Patreon, it's just it's not going to happen. I uploaded um, a tutorial this week and I might do the same for next week um, because it's I'm, I'm like, how am, on earth am I going to um, produce anything that um, is consistent? Um, this is already costing me a lot of energy right now. So without Facebook, am I missing out? Um, well, this morning I wanted um, to um, send some good luck wishes to a friend who's gonna who's going through a difficult thing right now, and today was a very important moment for her. So I wanted to send her a good luck, you know, thumbs up, a good luck, and let her know I was thinking of her. And um, then I realised suddenly that I don't have um, Facebook anymore, and then that would be the place where I, where we met up. So. I was a bit, um, I, I don't even have a phone number, I think, so I couldn't send her a text message. So I sent her an email hoping that she will get it before she has her appointment. Um, or, well, if she sees it later in the afternoon, then, you know, then I hope she will feel a little bit warmed knowing that I thought about her. But that was the first time, I think, I experienced... Um, a negative side effect as in you know 
people being a little bit harder to reach. Other than that, um, I hear a very weird noise. Do you hear that too? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. No, other than that, I haven't missed anything, I, th I think. Um, I am beginning to feel a little bit of a bliss because I am beginning to hear things in the news through other people. So from what, from what's it called? Word to mouth, word to mouth, mouth to word. What's it called again? When people say it to each other anyway. Um, so, um, some things have reached me that I haven't read online and, um, things that I know people will talk about on Facebook and will argue about and, you know, somewhere deep down inside there is a little voice saying I want to hear all about th all about it I want to be the first to know um but I have to say there is a very calm inner voice that says you've done the right thing you've you're missing all of that so that's I'm beginning to feel a joy of missing out I have to say so thus far no problem it's just that brain fog I really really want to go away because it's so heavy it's it's incredible it's like basically the way i feel now is i feel drunk not just tipsy but drunk without feeling sort of like the the joyfulness or the stupidity of being drunk but when you're drunk you sort of get this your head can feel really heavy not pain but there can be this heaviness in your head and that's exactly what I feel, but without, you know, the jolliness or without the, 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 the over courageousness, that's all, none of the stupidity is in me and not of the joy either, but, um, the brain fog, the incredible brain fog, it's like, it's, it's real. It's a physical thing. I remember the first times I took a time out from Facebook that, um, I felt this um, this strong physical reaction and um, I was totally surprised and it, it's the first time I took this time out, I couldn't find any information about it, but the second time I did, I experienced the exact same, um, uh, you know, physical response and then I looked it up and there was this, I don't know what's it called, psychiatrist, psychologist who knows about the chemical substances in your brain. And he had done some studies um, into dopamine, into um, the, he, he worked for hospitals that treat people with social media and gaming addiction. And he did research into the chemical aspect in the brain. And he said there is a real physical um, addiction and it's not just a behavioral pattern it really is a chemical addiction when you are constantly fed impulses whether they're good or bad it doesn't matter but I mean bad probably even works better because that's what Facebook gives you but uh, what happens is that um, there's uh, this level of chemicals in your brain um, I thought dopamine was the most important one in this aspect and your brain keeps checking Facebook, even if you don't want to, because you need the impulse, you need the dopamine. So it's like Pavlov, it's like a little rat that knows that if he endures an electric shock, he'll have a piece of cheese. He will constantly, even when the cheese is gone, keep looking for the electric shock, because the electric shock in time itself is rewarding for some unreasonable reason. So, um, well, so it's something physical and um i think i am in 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 the the peak of that right now so it's six days into a facebookless existence and i'm on the peak of the um cold turkey i think i hope i really hope because i really really want to wake up um i have a hard time saying the things i want to say um i have some i took some notes of thoughts yesterday that i had for my graphic novel that I wanted to work on. And last night when I wrote down the notes, I felt so much like working on them. 
And this morning I come back and I have the heaviness and the brain fog. And I'm looking at these notes and yeah, yeah. I mean, they're there. And I know with my reason it's important, but I can't get there. It's like this brain fog prevents me from feeling the urgency and the inspiration that I felt yesterday. So, um, well, let's hope that all of this is just a temporary side effect. I know it is. I know it is. It's just sometimes it's hard to, to really believe. Sometimes you're always that bit scared. It might be different. <laughs> okay, anyway, so day six. Tomorrow evening, it will have been a week since I pulled the plug from Facebook. Haven't returned since. Won't return. And um, I think the first days I was neutral about the question whether it had been a good idea. But I think even though I'm tired now, I'm beginning to feel that it really was a very good decision. I'm beginning to feel it. I knew when I took the decision it was a good decision. But, you know, I was also very scared. And I think I'm already beginning to feel that it really was a good decision. So, well, fortunately, because the brain fog seriously takes a little bit of effort to get through. So I'm going to uh, get myself a huge mug of coffee. Really strong. I made a super strong coffee. I'm going to just beat my brains a bit. And hopefully they'll wake up so I can do some work today. Otherwise, you know, it's quarter to 11 in the morning. And if I can't wake up my brain, I fear that today will be rather unproductive. And I hate that. <laughs> but then I might as well just take a book and jump onto the sofa and read today. Because if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll read and just relax. Because then I'll just have to wait until this passes. And this too shall pass. So I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you. I hope you found this in anyway interesting and uh well if you did maybe you have the same experience i would like to know if you recognize this or well anyway thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon <laughs> bye